<laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay guys, we're hopping in the Super Cub. We're gonna go land on a sandbar in the river. Formation flying is a lot of fun, but uh, there's a lot you gotta know. I land from one of the best. Is this where we're going? Hope you got your snow boots. We got so many bugs flying around that glacier yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> now, now it's probably going to spray out. So we had a nice little stop in Sitka. We're back to the airport, got the crew is hard at work. And then we're going to blast out of here, make a quick stop and catch a can because customs is ridiculous. And then we're going to go to uh, Vancouver. Controls are free and correct, instruments are good, everything is in green. Gas, we have fuel, we're on the fullest tank, we're on off of this tank. Two, attitude, autopilot is that I think. Let's go to catch a can. Check out this mount, that's cool. Look at that texture. Okay, so we had a nice little stop in Sitka. We got a little behind yesterday, so we didn't get there until four in the morning, uh, which is nice having two pilots, because that meant no one could fly while I took a nap, and then I did the approach and landing. Now we're gonna head over to Ketchikan. We're, we're trying to get to Vancouver today, and we're, you know, we're getting a late start already. You know, it's 7.30 again by the time we took off. You know, didn't get our EAPIS filed, um, you know, until close to when we were getting ready to go. So, because we have to have that filed an hour before departure, we filed that from Ketchikan, so we're going to go do a touch and go at, Te at Ketchikan so that we satisfy all of the customs requirements, which is obviously just ridiculous. Anyway, that's why we're going to do a, a touch and go at Ketchikan today. Kind of hard to say, a touch and go at Ketchikan. A touch and go at Ketchikan. Touch and go at Ketchikan, a touch and go at Ketchikan. Touch and go and catch a can and touch and go and catch a can and touch and go and catch a can and touch and go and touch. It's really hard. It's huh? really hard. I'm kind of hungry. What do we have? Flight attendant, what's on the menu today? Get some chips. Ooh. Okay, we got some more garbage for you. <laughs> Here's this too. And then, uh, can I get a root beer? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Such good service on these flights. <laughs> Seven Hotel Papa, 12 to the north, and you say uh, touch and go at Ketchikan? Uh, seven Hotel Papa, A firm. Okay, and then you're uh, headed somewhere else? Uh, seven Hotel Papa, A firm. And, uh, seven Hotel Papa, Roger. Information, uh, Oscar is on right now. Do you have that? Uh, we have Papa. Oh, yeah, that's a P. Yeah, Papa's on. And, uh, there's a couple of vehicles, uh, they've been doing some, uh, line painting out there, and, uh, they're at the approach end of 1-1 one one right now. We'll make sure those guys are clear. Okay, so I'm about to copy that. Thank you. Well, we're coming up on Guard Island. This is kind of fun with the low cloud layer over the top, just resting in the valley there. I have an understanding clear of the runway here. That, uh, that transmission is very poor. Ketchikan traffic, Bonanza, 7 Hotel Pomp is uh, at the point. Uh, about a six mile mile runway 101, Ketchikan. Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, Roger, I've got the lights on high, vehicles are clear. 7 on 5, thank you. And catch a can traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Palms, a 1 mile final, runway 1 1, touch and go, catch a can. Okay, so gears 3 green, we're on a full tank. Mixture full rich. We're just gonna do a touch and go to satisfy custom. Go, props full forward. Now we're on the roll. Papa, Roger. Yep, and uh, do you want your VFR flight plane close? 
Uh, person on the top, uh, can you just push back to ETA maybe like 5-10 minutes and we'll call you back uh, in just a little bit to close up. Okay, so you're coming back to land? Uh, we're not going to come back to land, but uh, we're going to call up center and pick up an IFR here in about 5 or 10 minutes. And when we do that, we'll call you back to close that one. Alright. Thank you. Wow, it's like the weather was just on the other side of that airport. Yeah. All of a sudden it's rainy and stuff. Well, we get to the other side of this here in just a second. And catch you can traffic Bonanza, Seven Hotel Pompas, Gravina Point, uh, eastbound. Catch you can. So as soon as we get to the end of this, give it some gas and climbing up. And we'll go to 9,000, we'll pick up our IFR. Anchorage Center, Bonanza 367, Hotel Pompa. Uh, Bonanza 362, Hotel Pompa, Anchorage Center, go ahead. Yeah, Bonanza 367 Hotel Pomp is just off at Ketchik Can, look for an IFR to Vancouver. Yeah, Bonanza 362 Hotel Pomp, look for 5714. 5714, Bonanza 367 Hotel Pomp. Bonanza 367 Hotel Pomp, the radar contact. Uh, one two miles to the north of the east of the Canada on the Hotel uh, Bonanza 367 Hotel Pop is climbing through uh, 5,000. Bonanza 367 Hotel Pop, can you maintain your own trace instruction and clearance through 5,700? Seven Hotel Pop, AFR. Okay, Bonanza 367 Hotel Pop is cleared to Vancouver Airport via direct Prince Rupert. Then it's filed, I maintain 9,000. Clear to Vancouver via direct Prince Rupert, then it's filed, maintain 9,000. Bonanza 367 Hotel Pop. Catch a can radio, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, catch your radio, go ahead. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, go ahead and close that flight plan for us, please. All right, very good. We'll close that uh, VFR flight plan uh, right now. Where are you guys headed? Uh, we're headed to Vancouver. We just had to uh, depart somewhere uh, an hour after we filed our EAPIS for customs. Ah, I understand. All right, have a good flight. Thanks, have a good day. Cool. So we got our VFR flight plan closed. Just left that open. Until we uh, were officially IFR, just in case something happens. And uh, now we got our clearance, even though we got some error messages filing it, so not going to worry about those. Okay, yeah, so catch this space, this is the end of Alaska. Yeah. It's been pretty incredible exploring this place. United 1748, and, uh, the trip that I've been meaning to make for several years. Now we're going to be back in Canada. Look at these mountains. Sunset, so pretty. There are stars. Oh, wow. It's been a while. It's dark out. This it's is so weird. weird. Uh huh. There's there are stars. stars and. 7 Hotel Pump, the Vector's final flight heading 110 to 10 flies out. 1109 to 5000, no problem. 7 Hotel Papa, contact Vancouver Tower, 118 Decimal 7, good night. Over to Tower, 7 Hotel Papa, Vancouver Tower, good morning, clear to land, I'm going to carry right. Clear to land, Bonanza, November 36, Hotel Papa. And Tower Bonanza, 7 Hotel Papa, we're going to custom. 7 Hotel Papa, you can make the right turn there onto runway 13. And then there'll be a left turn on Alpha towards the apron. I'll give you progress when you get to the apron. So we just cleared customs, called them on the phone. We didn't even have to go in. Doesn't look like there's anybody here anyway. Just threw all of our stuff in the plane. We're gonna go run and grab breakfast. Just today we're in Vancouver at the uh, the Flying Beaver, right on the water, watching the float planes while we eat. And then we're gonna head over to Boundary Bay and just do some fun flying in different airplanes all over Vancouver, and then probably head to Seattle. Clarence Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa via far to Boundary Bay. Bonanza November 367 Hotel Papa, Vancouver Clarence. Good morning, Gary to Point Departure, runway 26 left, squawk code 0745. Okay, was it the uh, Gary Point Departure, 26 left, squawk 0745, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa? November 367 Hotel Papa, that is correct. If you'd like, only up to 1500 feet, I can approve that. Uh, yeah, we prefer 1500 for 7 Hotel Papa. Roger, 1,500 feet on the Gary Point departure, and contact round 1217 for the taxi. 7 Hotel Papa. Number 367 Hotel Papa, line up, runway 26 left, Charlie. 
Two six left, Charlie, line up. November three six seven hotel bottle. Trolls are free. Okay, and correct. One one three contact. Instruments are good. This is two six left. Clear right. Three Trolls. six seven hotel Papa. Caution wake turbulence from the oh, galaxy. Yes. Yeah, it's, it departed. They rotated approximately four thousand five hundred feet down the runway. Clear for takeoff runway two six left from Charlie. Two six left from Charlie. Clear for takeoff. Uh, November three six seven hotel Papa. Okay, control for three two seven seven fifth speed to cancel runway two six left. Seat five. belt switches safety. Okay, that's all good. Tarbasco one nine nine Highland for two six left. Tarbasco one nine nine Trainer Vancouver Tower number one runway two six left. Out of number two six left. Tarbasco one nine nine. Six seven Hotel Papa, start left turn out. Contact one two five six five. Okay, left turn out. Say again the frequency. One two five decimal six five for seven Hotel Papa. Okay, one two five six five seven five. Thank you. Departure Bonanza November three six seven Hotel Papa one thousand climbing one thousand five hundred. Seven Hotel Papa Terra identified and would you like to climb to two thousand confirm? Uh, seven Papa, we'd like to stay one thousand five hundred if we can. Roger, that's approved. Far approach on seven runway Hotel Papa Terra, turn southbound, turn direct to VOR. Okay, southbound direct to VOR, seven Papa. Zero, seven zero. Hotel Papa Terra, thanks. Your surveillance service now terminate contact boundary day one two seven decimal six. Tower Bonanza November three six seven Hotel Papa one thousand five hundred. Well, yeah, Hotel Papa Roger runway one three altimeter two nine er nine er nine er make a left turn and then clear to right downwind runway one three squawk it in. Okay, well squawk it in two triple nine er uh, right downwind for one three November three six seven Hotel Papa. Seven Hotel Papa runway zero seven is also available. Uh, wind is one six zero at five knots. Are able runway zero seven or would you prefer runway one three? Yeah, we could do one uh, zero seven for seven hotel pop. Seven hotel pop, Roger. Cleared straight in runway zero seven. Monitor inner tower one one eight decimal one now. Okay, straight in zero seven tower one one eight decimal one. Number three six seven hotel pop. Okay, so that's zero seven. We'll go straight in. Battery bay tower November three six seven hotel pop. Uh, straight in zero seven. Seven hotel pop tower number one for runway zero seven. Traffic a Cessna is short final for runway one three on the touch and go. Okay, so we'll probably look for the traffic. We did not clear to land. Okay, with that Mike nice little slip in. Down. Mike probably oh, yeah. Put the last notch of flaps down. Be bringing the power out. There's that traffic crossing uh, right in front. Okay, I got him. Seven Hotel Papa, wind 150 at six knots. Clear to land, runway 07. Clear to land 07, we have the traffic. We're going to have the 7 Hotel Papa. Seven Hotel Papa, down. exit left, taxi way Charlie, and contact ground one two four decimal three one zero. Left turn one two four decimal three seven Hotel Papa. Seven Hotel Papa, are you filming today? We are. Awesome, <laughs> big fan. Awesome, thanks. That's awesome. Okay, guys, we're gonna go uh, do a little formation with a couple Super Cubs and head to a golf course for lunch. Taxi via uh, golf, if you like, from the Riley Hangars. Squawk 7176, contact tower 1181, holding short. So Owen hops in the Cub there. He's riding with Riley in the Super Cub, and Riley's parents are taking the other Super Cub. We're gonna go all have lunch. And tower number 367, Hotel Papa's ready to go as well, 13 at Golf. 7 Hotel Papa, tower traffic ahead is in the circuit from Golf, clear for takeoff, runway 13. From Golf, clear for takeoff, 13, Bonanza 367, Hotel Papa. Traffic, 6 o'clock, altitude not available, 0 miles. 7 Hotel Papa Tower traffic, 12 o'clock, mile and a half, eastbound Super Cub at 1,800 feet, get on the site. 7 Hotel Papa has the traffic. Roger. Hey Riley, you up? Traffic, yeah, we're up. 12 o'clock. We'll go up to uh, 22. Okay. Okay, so we got about 20 minutes to go at this speed. I don't know if we're going to do this the whole way though, because it's a little slow. Traffic, 7 o'clock, low. Zero miles. Hey, just so you guys know, we got like a, uh, I don't know, some kind of piper thing passing underneath us, like 200 feet below. Okay. You'll see him in front of you in a second. That guy taxied out right behind you. Yeah, probably completely oblivious. He went right through the Langley control zone, they're going up. That guy did? Yeah. <laughs> I'll cross onto the other side.
Formation flying is a lot of fun, but uh, there's a lot you gotta know. I learned from one of the best. For us to fly with them is by far <laughs> like the like least efficient way possible to uh, get here for lunch today, but it's also by far the most fun. I'll go back over to the other side for a second, be right up tight with the mountain. So you think about uh, going low over the river a little bit? Perfect. Don't go down too fast though, because you, uh, I might be too on drag. Okay. Yeah, like this is good. Alright. Start angling over this way. Sure. You know you're at low power when you pull the mixture out and go faster. <laughs> I was getting tired of that uh, gear horn. Rowena's gonna go grab a bite to eat. Got some golfers over here, a couple super cubs and a bonanza over here. How cool is that? Okay, so we just had a great lunch here at Sandpiper Golf Course at Rowena's. Now we're gonna hop on the plane, go get dessert. lunch here. Now we got about 1,800 feet of... To take off. It's very rough. You said it's gusty? It's gusty, the uh, departing Rowena. Yeah, so we got just enough gravel here to get about one or two people and some fuel off on a hot day like today. But, do it. I think Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop is departing south, Rowena. I'll just cut through the gap in the trees. We got plenty of extra airspeed. Just getting right over the top there. 
That's awesome. Some pretty views out here. Yeah, Ruinas traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop is off departing to the uh, southeast Ruinas. So, basically just a two minute flight over here to get some uh, good time apparently. It's hot out here today. Chilliwack traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop, turning left base 25, Chilliwack. Quick little flight over here from, uh, what is it again, Rowanas? Rowena, Rowena's. And uh, now we're in Chilliwack, grabbing some pie, some cheesecake, got an apple pie, mud, mud pie? Mud pie. Some airplanes, it's great. Charlie Mike's taxi on free flight trail, 25 kilowatts. Okay guys, we're hopping in the Super Cub. We're gonna go land on a sandbar in the river. Or Charlie Mike to rolling two five. Alright, all good? Yeah, let's do it. And we're off in like 200 feet. <laughs> That's awesome. And there's the banana back there. Oh, there's some nice homes. Yeah. See me? Yeah, we're a little behind you. Okay, I'm just going down low on the river. There's island up here with the trees and I was going to go around the back side of that. Okay, yeah, the one on the back side, there's an island uh, on the back side of that and that's where I was looking at. Hey, we're on final, we're going to land right behind you. Gotcha. Well, there's a drop off right where I just went through and then it gets rolling. Okay. Keep coming a little further up. Yeah, I see where. Drops off just a little past you, right where you are, dolphin drop. Okay, it's good to touch anywhere there. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice soft sand here. Never landed on a sand bar before, that's awesome. Yeah, this is, this is pretty special. This is pretty cool. done some cool things in an airplane, but I've never landed on a sandbar before. So awesome. Chilliwack traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop is taxiing runway 25 Chilliwack. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun flying with Riley and his dad Steve and their Super Cubs. Father super son duo. Airplane. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Matching twin cubs, bought us pie. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Cunningham. Thank you, yeah. Chilliwack traffic, Bonanza 7 Hotel Pop is departing runway 25, Chilliwack. It's real. Chilliwack nice. traffic, Super Cub Remnant, Charlie's clear of the zone to the west. Have a good flight, guys. Thanks, you too. See ya. 
7 Hotel, top of the speed now at your discretion, wind 1908, clear to land, runway 19. Little Land 19, November 367 Hotel, Pompa. Yeah, so now we're just popping over here, another quick little five minute flight. Yeah. It's time to Abbotsford. And we're going to fly a helicopter. Abbotsford Tower, I'm feeding back ready for departure from South Apron. Alpha Yankee, come back, take off South Apron to your discretion, cut at the Northwest route. Alpha Yankee, back. I was chill, it was, it was good. Good pie. Yeah, good pie for sure. And before that, we went into that little strip at the golf course. Rowena's? So yeah, Rowena's. Yeah. So awesome. That's insane. <laughs> it's wild. It's like you can reach out and touch it. I know, and, and the sense just, of scale, you lose right. it. Like, you can't understand how big that is. Right. There is a sweet lake that's over there. It doesn't have as good of a view, but it's pretty dope. It's Mount Robbie traffic helicopter up. It's an R44 up in Quebec, just to the northeast of Mount Robbie, 4,100 feet. Heading northeast bound for Cuttlewood Lake. You see this rock right here? Okay. Unfortunately, the lake is too full. But uh -huh. sometimes we land on this rock. <laughs> see it? Just sticking out just yeah. barely. It's like super flat. The lake's just barely too full. Oh man. Ooh. Uh, it's tight. Yeah. yeah. We'd get a little wet. The water is just so clear. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. Is this where we're going? Yep. So that little rock there, and it's quite the incline back, so don't be alarmed by that. But we will have to check the skids to make sure we're secure on there. Wind's not like me right now. It's not going to work today, I don't think. Nope. Okay. Let's see. A little bit more to the left. Nope. Close. We'll try this other spot, and then if we can't get it, we'll figure something else out. Okay. The wind's just being really twitchy on the tail there, so yeah. it's making it really hard to find that right sweet spot. Gotcha. So I need you to check your skid for any rocks. Uh, uh, we're on, it needs to be fully on the ground. There's maybe just a tiny space under the right side of it. Yeah. But I mean, it, it looks... Yeah, this feels good. Okay. So we just landed next to this lake in the middle of the mountains. What altitude are we at? Uh, I think 4,500. 4,500 feet. And we're just in the middle of nowhere. It's so quiet and so peaceful. There's spots to hike around. Okay. It's also a lower spot that I want to check out, but the clouds kind of looming over it, so we'll fly over it and see what it's doing. But it's situations it's like this, you have to be super careful with cloud, yeah, because it can change very fast. Got your snow boots. <laughs> Didn't think I needed. It's them. probably gonna be pretty solid, isn't it? Yeah, it should yeah. be fairly crunchy. Oh yeah. So we're just patting it down, trying to make sure we don't pop when gotcha. we uh, are okay. down. 
But yeah, so you're good to get out. We're on top of a mountain. This is so cool. I thought it's been cool flying over this kind of stuff in the Bonanza, you know, 500 feet above it. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> this is the way it works around here. You're okay, like, so why exactly uh, is that spot like particularly tricky? Okay, so that spot was a little tricky because we had a little bit of a tailwind. It was actually quite windier than I expected. We did a wind check, but it was uh, building as we were even there. Like by the time we left, it was pretty windy, right? So we had the tail behind us, so the tail is kind of weathercocking side to side. So I had to be pretty active on the pedals, which causes the helicopter to kind of start to rock back and forth. So you have to be really careful in that situation. That was awesome. Helicopters are, are just very, very, very cool. Huge thanks to Sam here and uh, BC Helicopters. Got a bite to eat. We are now gonna head to Seattle because we have to leave in like 10 minutes to be there when we told customs we would.